Okay, continuing with the idea that he brought up about mental health, um, I do think poetry is a wonderful mental health tool. Music probably is too from, for you music musicians. And um, I go through periods when, you know, life seems pretty good and then suddenly something just sort of knocks you sideways and you don't know what to do with it. So in my case, I write a poem. And this is one of them. It's called Another Next Time. It sounded like bam, bam, bam. It went bam, 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 she said. Bam, 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 bam. Screams, silence, then sirens. I'm sorry your boy is dead. I'm sorry your girl is dead. I'm sorry your husband, your mother, your grandmother, your teacher, your friend, all dead. Bam, bam, dead. You have our prayers, 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 more prayers. What about your humanity? Until next time, bam, bam. called Gift of Spirit. And the interesting thing about this poem is I, it was a poem that I didn't think that I could write. Sometimes you have an experience in life that is so intense that it just hits you a certain way. And it can be the smallest little thing, so maybe something somebody said or a smile or whatever. And it is so profound that you, you can feel it more than you can talk about it. It just kind of hits you in your heart. And um, this is one of those experiences, and I didn't think I could write this poem, but I did. Maybe words didn't do it enough justice, but take my word for it, it really meant a lot. Amid the endless racket of life, when the door seems closed to the simple pleasures of joy, he came, announcing his presence with a flutter of small brown wings, he came to share a moment with me. It was a still heat and dry. The grass crackled underfoot. I thought this was the reason he was here, wanting water from my hose. I directed the spray as he ruffled his feathers and danced and played on the branches, seeming to enjoy every drop. I thought this might never end. Then it did as I knew it would. Off he flew to a sunny place. He had come and shared with me not an ordinary moment, but a joy-filled gift of spirit, an exchange between souls that I'll never forget of a little brown bird and me. That was a week ago and it still feels special. This, this one is called Dream Magic um, and it's about dreaming. A red-tailed fox with glistening eyes silently appears along the dark edge. His whiskers brush her fingertips ever so lightly. The heavy sounds, whoomp, whoomp, of an angel's wing, of an, I'm sorry, of an owl's wings pass closely overhead, mystery in its flight, carrying wonder of this moment with each beat into the night. The fox is gone, a chorus of insect music remains. Until the moon gives up its magic to the yawning dawn and I must arise again. Thank you.